footy show. Just two rounds to go before the finals are upon us. Jim, very excited about there that. we are. A lot of footy news kicking around tonight. We can tell you that one of the informed players of the competition's been sacked. Ooh. Craig Hutchison to let us know exactly who that is later. Speaking of Craig Hutchison, there's also a president, Gary, a long-standing president of a big club who tomorrow is going to resign his post. He's full of news. He's full of news, Hutchie. Uh, Graham Pollock, of course, the Tiger that was involved in that very sad accident. There's been a little yep. bit of trouble around him this week. He's going to let us know exactly what that's all about. And we join Stephen Milne on his long journey back from Perth. Exclusive pictures there as well, Gary. Ooh, plenty to talk about tonight, Jim. Excited the crowd, going off their head. Yeah. Um, the Olympic show last week, the footy show, the Olympic show, yep. a lot of talk about uh, the high diving board and uh, yep. our man is suggesting he's going to do something and I'm speaking of this old fella next Why to is he dressed like that, Gary? Because <laughs> he thinks he's going to do something that we universally agree is a ridiculous idea. He's not doing it. Sitting at home watching, don't go away because if he gets his way, it is the most ridiculous and dangerous thing he's ever done in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Do you think I want to do this? I'm doing this for us. I've got to restore some credibility to this show. Last week we saw two bulbous, cellulite riddled sea sponges quivering and skulking at the edge of the platform at, and then they jumped. I'm restoring some credibility. No, you're not. We are bronze Anzacs. We don't want bronze ass cracks <laughs> standing on the 10 metre board. I'm going to restore on our behalf, Trev. Thank me, Gary. No. I'm going to do it for us. No, you're not going to do it. I am. We, uh, we admire your courage, but uh, we're just going to have to pull some rank on you. Yeah, well, so I'm going, going to actually there to die. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> The 10 metre board later on. I'm going to leave here at the end of this break. No. Sam, we have as list, a list as long as your arm of reasons why you're not going to do it. Okay. It's coming up shortly. Oh, well, I'm good. You can read as many lists as you like. <laughs> I'll, cool. I'll be off. Cool I'll be, I'm only doing it for us. Shut cool up. your jets there, Sam. We're going to head across the other side of the room, ladies and gentlemen, to a man whose team have won six in a row. Make him welcome the superstar behind the bar, Trevor Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure why I did that, but uh, I'm, I'm actually a, bit, a little bit confused, I have to say. I spent four hours last night watching softball, and I've got no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, maybe I just wanted to make sure it finished. I'm, I'm not really quite sure. But, uh, but uh, I have to say our hearts, uh, our regards, uh, got to send our best regards first off uh, to Stephen Milne after uh, last week. Shocking injury he suffered uh, last week. I don't know if you boys saw it, but uh, here he is. He's, uh, against from, he suffered a blow that turned him into a cabbage patch doll. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's just terrible. And because of that, uh, he had to do a didac. He was uh, driven home half blind in the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've, I think the reason you're dressed like that is because you've got caught up finally in the Don't Olympic spirit. Olympic spirit fever. Of the spirit of the school sports. Now, look, let's just let's just give credit where it's Q. Q, Q. Let's give credit where it's due, uh, Gaz and Jimmy, to Seven's coverage of the school sports. This is the upside. They're there. <laughs> the downside no. is, the no. downside is, uh, it, it, it is a cavalcade of advertisements and promotions. Uh, it's with the occasional sprinkling of live third and fourth tier sports, <laughs> presented by third and fourth tier commentators oh. <laughs> and analysts, with the exception, with the exception of a, with a few, one or two, maybe three. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they should have their licence summarily suspended, Channel 7, for insulting the public and driving the institution of sport. Uh, you couldn't stuff more things up if you tried. Uh, you could not. Did you see the Russian gymnast have a red light put on her? I yes, did. I was watching. For yes. beating the red light. Mm. That took two days for them to tell us why. <laughs> now, you've got experts there. Wouldn't you think they would say, well, look, we'll find out. I waited up until about three in the morning to find nothing. And then the boomers, what about the boomers, got yes. flogged by the United States, 
the only bit we wanted to see was when we matched pace with them. But mm. no, they just went straight to when we got to flog them. Well, <laughs> that was unfortunate because the softball went into overtime. Yeah, but I would like to congratulate uh, the Aussie ping pong players. Uh, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Zang, oo. Oh. Dang and Sang. Now they're obviously the daughters of fourth generation Western District farmers who um, have uh, slugged it out there. And just when you thought, Trev, that the uh, softball was just about to take you by the throat and strangle you, they introduced, did you know bike riding, BMX yes, bike riding? Yes, yes, it is. Have you ever heard anything more ridiculous? Fully grown men on uh, kids' bikes. And there's a bloke... <laughs> There's a bloke called <laughs> Kamikaze. Yes. What I want him to do yeah. is meet the Japan contestant in the final <laughs> and then have Bruce Ruxton present the gold medal to him. <laughs> I've never heard anything more ridiculous. He changed his name to, uh, to Kamikaze. Oh, why do they call it? Why do they do What is his name? What was Kama. it? Kamikaze. No, that, but what is his Brian oh, Watson? It's Brian, but we're not calling you Kamikaze, mate. Your name's Brian Watson, and that's it. <laughs> and what? Bike, BMX, bike, BMX. I thought Sorry. the softball, the BMX bike riding, the handball, <laughs> and possibly one other event would just about put me away. I reckon. Dread. Oh, they got Tom Williams down there at the BMX as a commentator. Sam, he's been good. He said uh, he's from Latvia, one of the Nordic countries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who was a great friend of ours and started this show and knows what sport's about because he was at nine. He must shake his head in disbelief at what's going on over there. Right, well, second rate. It is second rate. We're going to have and, our uh, best go at it in a couple of years' time, so <laughs> we want to get it right, Gary. Well, no, we would just want to get half right and we'd be a winner. <laughs> We have a big panel tonight, uh, Sam, and you alluded to this man earlier, the Cats. Ladies and gentlemen, just the one loss on the season. Here is the Mayor of Geelong. Make him welcome, Bill Brownless. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yes, Actually, I've got to say, in all seriousness, uh, congratulations on the book, Billy. It's great. I read it from cover to cover. In fact, I had 10 minutes to kill. I read it twice. <laughs> <laughs> It's only a light read. Very nice to have you here, Bill. It Thank has you, to be said, it hasn't been Melbourne's greatest year, but they have got plenty out of this man. A very talented unit. Haven't seen him for a while on the footy show. Please make welcome Brad Green. And this man has kicked 90 goals for the season. About to wrap up the ton in the next couple of weeks, we hope... Put your hands together for the excitement machine from Carlton, Brendan Favola. Welcome, boys. Good to have you all. Plan to get through Feb. 90 goals, Ooh. 45. Two weeks to go. The Blues won't make the final, sadly.